overarching iconic image and then on a smaller scale as a sort of narrative which we go through in a kind of linear progression. Really the galleries contact me after my degree check when we're done and we're interested in um, putting on the show here and that's basically <laughs> My work is about the disconnect between mind and body and how we are increasingly growing separate from the two and I'm kind of interested in the way that the body serves as, as a communication uh, between the mind and the outside world. Series called the Unidentified Parade, and it's based on um, how pop culture and gender has evolved within recent years, and how the distinction between gender boundaries has blurred um, through many different parameters. Um, inspirations have come from many different areas, including pop culture, cinema. Like this, for example, inspired a lot by James Dean and the 1980s drag culture of New York City. They contacted me after my uh, degree show and came up with this, which I was very ha happy to take part in. <laughs> Chat Room was a project that I started probably about six months ago, and it kind of formed part of my dissertation. And I was interested to sort of see how relationships have changed and altered and adapted to technology, you know, uh, Facebook and uh, chat rooms. Basically, I thought I'd investigate the chat room and I went on to webcam and um, I put up on my status that I was an artist, researcher, doing research, and I'd like to sort of sketch their portrait. So I'd do a sketch while I was talking to them and asking questions. And I think the drawings are definitely more um, more real to life to the, to the characters that I actually met online to the paintings. I probably did about 30 of these. In sign in particular really interested me. So it's it's just the huge digitally like, created print. And also the fact that it's got um, the CMY colours that are used on printers. It literally embodies that whole physical to like creation of print um, in today's society sort of thing. And then well in the space as well and being able to see out onto the street and get a sense of that as well. Yeah just sort of wanted to kind of encapsulate a little sense of, of the area at this moment in time. I got involved with Guerrilla Gallery because uh, basically uh, yeah, I was at an exhibition and I got talking to uh, one of the, like, the directors here and yeah, I was speaking about my work and they really liked the sound of it, I looked into it, showed them some of my pieces in the past and they were just asked me to be part of the show. Which is, it was quite informal about it. They just wanted to talk to me and like we spoke in person, which is so much better than like, like at clients and things. You don't really get to know someone and their work like, in that way. So it didn't have it just got to ask me the questions on the spot really, which was the great thing about it. My process is using thin oil paint on a very smooth surface taking off as much as putting on and um, sometimes I start with a concept and sometimes I start with nothing and just make it up from imagination. Um, I'm concerned, my concern is the environment, um, ecological decay because of what man does and also 
also the fragmentation of society today. I'm interested in the parallels between the Industrial Revolution and globalism today. Um, so I, I use influences from the Northern Renaissance painting and the cultural painting. Because I got this new job. Um, so what is the job? I mean, I'm assistant in place.